I currently have this wonderful canvas page open and I've titled it line dividers because we are going to be creating some horizontal line dividers, obviously. Um, so you don't have to use a canvas page though. If you don't want to, you can include this within assignments, discussions, quizzes, anything in canvas really that includes a rich content editor or this lovely text box feature uh, in edit mode. So the first thing to create a horizontal line, which is great because it creates, again, like that division, that organizational flow sectioning for students. Uh, we're going to click insert and then we're going to come down to this lovely horizontal line option and it inserts a line. Now I can come up and add, let's say like a title up here and then maybe below here, I am going to include like directions. And then let's say I'm going to add like another line down here and this is going to include a submission details, right? So all of the information your students would need to submit this assignment. Uh, I love lines. I think they're great, but these lines, they are kind of meh. Like they don't really create that engaging piece that we want um, for our students. So I am going to jazz these up a little bit by going to my HTML code key that I have. So I have um, opened up my HTML editor code key. This will be in the link um, in the description below for you to access. So feel free to like take it and follow along. I'm on slide nine. Um, which is page align dividers. You can see here, this is how it's going to appear. So we have the color blue, we can change that. Um, but what I'm going to do, instead of copying all of this with a title and information, I'm just gonna copy the middle here, the HR style. HR is um, for creating a horizontal line. So I'm gonna copy this. And then what we're going to do is return back to Canvas here, and I am going to click on our lovely HTML editor. So you can see this is extremely simple HTML code right now, and all I'm going to do where it just says that short HR, I'm going to paste in the styling. So just selecting it and then pasting in the styling because that's I know where I want the line to go, and we're just gonna quickly take a look at this. And you'll see now I have these really bright blue lines that go across the page. And maybe, you know, I don't really like this color. So we're going to change that and I can actually come here and I can type in a color. So let's say I want pink instead. So we're going to change all of the blues two pinks. I'm just going to do the top one right now. And then we're going to take a quick look at this by going back to the rich content editor. You can see the difference. We have this lovely pink one and then the original blue that I had. But if you want, um, you can input. It doesn't have to be a written color. So, you know, we wrote in pink um, down here is blue. Maybe I want a hex color code. Uh, so I have this wonderful extension. If um, you're interested, it's in the Chrome store. It's called the eyedropper. Feel free to go grab it. It's my favorite because you can actually like pick colors from this isn't a great example because I only have like gray and white. Um, here, let me zoom out. So you can like take it from the page, which is really fun. So maybe I want, I already did pink, I don't want pink, but this is my collection that I've collected over who knows how long of a period of time. So let's say I want, I don't know, let's do kind of like this orangey red color. So I'm gonna copy the entire thing, if it'll let me. There you go. I copied it and now I'm gonna come down to this second line and uh, select and paste over blue that wonderful color code okay so I'm done I'm gonna preview this again and now we have those two wonderful lines and um, what I like to do from here is like so for example let's say I really like this line and I want to use it again I'm just gonna copy this section and then I did control C and control V over the other one so that just makes it quicker uh, for me later on. Uh, and of course, it, let's say maybe these lines are a little too thick. We can always change the height of them 
by let's make it instead of six we'll do four pixels on each and that way too when I go back to the rich content editor they're just a little bit thinner for the page and I can click save to get a full look and there you go we have our first type of line uh, dividers for this page the second type of dividing line that you can create actually includes the text I'm gonna go back to my HTML um, editor code key and we were on page line dividers we're actually gonna go up to number seven and this is background color and I this is what it's gonna look like I'm just gonna paste the or copy and paste the entire thing so copying and then going back to here um, for background color this time and paste oop <laughs> don't paste it in the rich content editor like I just did <laughs> and paste it into the HTML editor and then we'll return back and you can see I have this lovely green um, banner right now really but I'm going to make this smaller so I'm just gonna get rid of this line and then now I have this thinner header title but we're gonna change this up a little bit so I'm going to change it from centered we're gonna do text left side alignment I also think the text is a little too big I'm actually gonna do paragraph we're gonna do like let's try heading three that's a good size so I'm gonna keep it there and then I am going to change this we're just gonna do title like we have below and then I'm I'm going to just add that as my paragraph now we're back in the HTML editor and I'm gonna just copy this and then un where the paragraph is so right under title P stands for paragraph in case you're wondering and this lovely text that's in like this orangey red color is just like means that there's empty space there so I'm just gonna paste that in and then you will see when I go back I have the same bar, but this time, instead of title, we're going to do directions. Okay, so we have these lovely uh, sections here, and again, they can be whatever you want them to be. I know this doesn't fully make um, sense to have like title and then section and directions and section, but it is what it is for today. We can actually make this even smaller if we want thinner lines. We can either alter it, like make this heading style four, or I can change the font and make it bigger, whatever you prefer. Now, the only thing that bothers me, the alignment of the text, and this is just me being a little crazy, is how close the text is on the left side within that division bar. So there's a couple options. The first option, you can just hit the space bar as many times as you want till you feel like, oh, this fits really nicely. Uh, the second thing you can do in terms of formatting, I will actually come up here and I will do padding left. We'll do 10 pixels and then see what that looks like. And I'm going to make sure that I always am inside the quotation for the styling uh, and then ending in a semicolon. So all I did was add what's currently highlighted and I'm going to copy this and come down to the next one and hit space and do paste in the same thing. Same thing for this one and voila. We're done here for that kind of formatting. And then you can see how now there is just that little bit of cushion on the left side for each title. It's just kind of nice. Again, you can always, we can always change the color up of these divisions. So I can do, you know, that other color or I can type in thing so we can do things like oh, it looks like a watermelon i like that <laughs> okay so i'll just save this for now uh just to give you guys a good idea of how to create those sections adding color just i feel like is such a good engaging piece within any online course the last thing before we're done i'm going to show you is kind of how i apply them within real courses all right guys so this is one of the templates that i sell this is a science homepage template and as you can 
see I've got the green uh, dividers here that I created using background color tags within my HTML code key. We have a section here of buttons for uh, students to access their lessons. Then we have a title for a sectioning of the uh, you know, daily, weekly agenda, and then other resources. So it's really nice, but then also, Outside of a home page, I also have this wonderful teacher template module. So I'll just click on each little item here. And you can see that I've created actually like P and G images that are borders, which is really fun to do. Here's again, here's the title header. Um, just creating that really nice horizontal lines. Here they are again. Um, so I use them all the time. And you'll probably notice as I keep going through uh, this template module here, I do have this lovely box. If you would love to see how I create those, feel free to let me know in the comments below. And I really hope that you try this out. Thank you guys so much for joining me today in this tutorial video. I'm sorry I couldn't be fully on camera as I experienced some technical difficulties, but I would greatly appreciate it if you liked this video, shared it with a friend, and of course subscribed. Hope to see you on the next one. Bye!